Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, so today we're going to look at the new chapter. Yeah, um, chapter the topic is economic development, poverty, and environment. Right. Um, so this chapter is actually linked and um, it, it's actually um, really related to sustainable development. Yeah. So first of all, we look at sustainable development as a global objective. Um, so what is sustainable development? Sustainable development refers to managing Earth's resources to assure long-term quality and abundance for future generations. That is sustainable development, which means both um, economic growth and environmental um, conservation should be taking place simultaneously. Yeah. So when we um, catching up with the development when we um going to have um growth in, in economy yeah so of course we will engage in industrialization so um so more buildings skyrocketed buildings will be um developed will be built and there will be more technologies coming in so we also need to um have um attention uh, to pay attention to, um, to environmental, how to conserve the environment. Yeah, so that's that is the meaning where both um, environment and also um, economic activities are going at the same direction. Okay. Um. So the aims of sustainable development is the first one to achieve economic prosperity and environmental quality, the one that I have mentioned just now. Yeah, and number two, um, it is it is also referred to as intergenerational equity. So both. Uh, environment yeah, and economic prosperity should be achieved. Okay, um, the, we go to the broader, broader comprehensive or broader or comprehensive um, goal or objective. So the comprehensive goal of sustainable development calls for fundamental changes in how society makes market decisions. So it is also the role of society. Yeah. Um, to make any economic decision that will actually um, lead to the sustainable development. Um, so there will be challenge lah, yeah, for this goal. Yeah, mesti ch ada challenge lah, sebab macam mana kita nak dapatkan kedua-dua ni economic prosperity dan juga um, environmental quality at the same time adalah maybe quite uh, difficult lah. Yeah, jadi ada challenge dia. The challenge is to achieve economic prosperity but alter market activity so that natural resources and the environment are protected. So there will be an alteration ataupun change, um, changes in market decision ataupun market activity. Lah. So economic activity pun perlu di, 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 berlaku perubahan. Ya. Macam mana kita nak um, uh, conserve kita punya environment so kita mesti uh, ada beberapa guidelines ataupun policy yang kita perlu ikut. Yeah. Um, so it needs different policy approach yeah, which relies on rules and limits control instrument that often run counter to the polluters market incentive. Macam saya kata tadi, so mesti akan ada uh, policy yang diperlukan yeah, so that um, less yeah less uh, polluters ataupun less pollution based uh, economy activity will be produced and then sustainable development relies on the premise that economic growth and environmental quality must not be competing goals which means both environment and also economic growth goals ini objective kedua-dua ini tidak boleh con uh, tidak boleh uh, contradict ataupun dia tidak boleh bersaing so both can go in the same direction. Okay. Um, the data, the data show that the environmental impact per unit of income associated with growth must decline between three to three point five to four percent, yeah, per year to avoid further pollution and natural resource depletion. So this means that. A particular country or every country need to reduce their um, pollutions, the impact on pollute, the impact on the en environment. Yeah, 
negative impact on environment by 4 to 3.5% every year. Yeah, every year. Why? Because we need to, because we want to protect the environment so that the future generation will have the opportunity to, uh, ex, uh, to, to enjoy this, to enjoy the environment, yeah, clean environment. So that is the goal, lah, yeah, that is the, uh, kalau dari segi data, yeah. So there will be problem, lah, yeah. The problem will be more serious, yeah, for this, uh, to achieve this 3.5 to 4%. The problem will be more serious for developing countries that have high growth rates and rapidly populations. Yeah, so contoh negara macam China and India. So in China and India, um, dia orang punya aim, dia orang punya goal adalah nak achieve economic growth. Tapi pada masa yang sama mereka adalah negara yang punya pollution population yang banyak. So when they have many population, uh, there will be problem lah sebab uh, perlu bila banyak population demand for houses pun banyak nak nak menyediakan uh, every facilities and so on will be difficult jadi mungkin akan ada masalah uh, kurang kebersihan akan berlaku masalah uh, banyak kilang-kilang di mana banyak pollution yang akan berlaku the why uh, this is why nak achieve uh, the reduction in pollution itu agak sukar untuk negara-negara seperti Okay, and then we go to the um, growth and the environment. Yeah. Um, so for this growth and the environment, so kita ada konsep atau teori yang kita panggil sebagai environmental kuznet curve, EK, EKC. Yeah. Um, so this sustainable development is based on the premise that economic growth and environmental quality must be reconciled. Maknanya mesti in the same direction. And researcher has examined whether a technical relationship exists between economic growth and pollution. So, kita nak tengok ada tak hubungan antara economic growth dengan pencemaran itu, pollution itu. Yeah? And this uh, economic growth usually measured in income per capita. And pollution is economic, uh, is environment degradation lah. Yeah? So, this relationship is explained by uh, ataupun explain in the model yang kita panggil environmental coordinate curve EKC. Okay, so the uh, pattern yeah, for this EKC has ha has been hypothesized as an inverted U shape. So the shape of the curve is U shape. Yeah, and uh, kenapa U shape? Yeah, U shape macam ni lah. Yeah, dia punya. Dia macam ni. So this is pollution. This is the um, growth, yeah, income per capita ataupun growth. So, ini yang kita masukkan sebagai U, U shape. So, the model suggests that, yeah, ada dua, pattern dia ada dua lah yang kita boleh explain. The first one apa? At early stages of industrialization, so usually will be associated with rising level of pollution when Growth is greater priority than natu natu natural resources protection. And environmental controls are lenient or virtually non-existent. Which means that at the first stage, of course, every nation nak capai economic growth. Nak capai economic growth, dia perlu banyak industrialization. Maknanya perlu banyak um, construction yang berlaku. Kena buat macam-macam bangunan, kena ada banyak kilang. So, semua tu akan menyebabkan pencemaran. So, at early stage, usually nak catching up dengan growth, kita akan tidak memikirkan tentang pencemaran. Jadi, kita tak nak fikirkan pasal pencemaran, tak ada natural resources punya protection. Tak, and then, usually, um, apa ni, policy ataupun controls on environment ini biasanya sangat-sangat linear atau loose. Dan ada juga yang tiada langsung polisi-polisi untuk kurangkan masalah pencemaran ni. So, this is the early stage. Sebab tu kita nampak early stage. Nampak? Kita nak capai economic growth. Kita akan, negara akan buat banyak pollution lah. Yeah. So, ini kita panggil early stage. So, after we have... Uh, Gone through this, yeah. We have uh, the country has gone through the industrialization, so they are jadi more advanced development, yeah, more advanced country. So more advanced development is linked to a shift in focus in the opposite direction, 
with increasing concern for environmental quality, essentially an income effect. Eh, so this, uh, kita, the shift of uh, focus daripada kita nak capai economic growth kepada kita nak, cons, con, kita punya put more concern on environment ini kita panggil sebagai income effect. Yeah. So this is how, uh, why uh, actually uh, we strengthen, yeah? we want to strengthen um, the environmental regulation. So that is why kita akan nampak business curve ini lepas capai industrialization so kita akan more advanced. Dia jadi more advanced di dalam industri ya kita nak capai economic growth pada masa yang sama kita nak kurangkan pencemaran. So that is what uh, is key EKC is all about.